Yeah, not bad to be fair. Um, it's, it's amazing it's already been a month to be honest, it's gone quite quickly. Um, so hopefully time flies by and I'm back on the pitch soon enough, but um, I'm really happy with how it's progressed so far and uh, just hopefully it continues this way. It's, yeah, it's testament to obviously Tom and the effort that he's put in every day. It's also been really helpful, um, the club invested in a physio lab for him that he could have at home, which has really helped control the swelling, which has, you know, um, really helped him to be able to do his exercises. Um, and I, when I look back, but the kind of the first time I've seen him post-op, he's obviously in crutches and in, in he's ab unable to walk without them. So to see that kind of, um, improvement in such a short space of time is amazing. Um, it really is. I knew at the time, so it was just it was a freak injury because I just went up for a header, landed, and I felt my knee give way at that point. But I thought I played on for five minutes, and I was just like trying to get on with it, and just and then the balls got played down the channel, and as I turned, it just completely gave way. So I knew something something was serious at that point. So when I got results back for a scan, I was just praying it wasn't going to be anything too major. Initially. It didn't look that bad, um, to be honest with you, um, when we looked back at the video. Um, but you tend to find with those things that that tends to be the case. Eh? It's not; it doesn't actually look a lot on the pitch. But when we obviously sent them off the MRI, so we suspected that it was something quite bad. It's it is really tough on the player and emotionally for them. It takes a long time for them to process it and then obviously there's a lot of waiting around to know exactly when you're getting the operation um, and it, the initial consultation tends to be quite quick but you, because obviously there's people booked into all of these slots it's quite hard initially and um, to find out exactly when it's going to happen but he was lucky he managed to get onto a cancellation um, and he's operated on quite quickly and obviously when i found out the news it was the acl um, Tear, but yeah, it was it was tough to take at the time, and it took me a wee while to get over it. But there's there's no point being down about it. I've just got to get on with it and face facts that I'm going to be out for a wee while, and I've just got to make the most of it and do everything I can to come back as soon as I can, and and just a better overall player. Player, so um, just use this time wisely, hopefully, and come back a better player. So you don't really want to become best friends because of that, but yeah, it's been great. Morning, guys. Um, He's helped me a lot already, so like straight away um, while I did it, he was just saying, listen, I'll be here for you and that, mate. And uh, after the operation, he rang me straight away, and now I'm obviously with him in the gym a lot, so he'll help me a lot. Um, he's, it's good just to have company as well, and someone who's been and done that, and like he knows he knows what to do, so um, this is the first time obviously I've done my ACR. So he's done that a few times now, eh? So he knows what he's doing and you know Louis and Tom are quite similar and they put in a hell of a lot of time into the rehab and a lot of effort and um, which is what you want as a fizzy way to see players with that type of dedication but I guess that's why they are professional footballers because they have that right you know winning men mindset. It's amazing how much like research you do I feel like a physio at the moment like I'm listening to podcasts like ACR recovery podcasts and stuff like that so um, just doing, every, listening to people as much as possible who know what they're talking about and just trying to find out, research stuff to make sure I'm doing everything I can possibly to come back. Yes, yeah, so that was, uh, that was, it wasn't ACL, it was LCL, so it's the outside of my knee, but that was when I was 19. That was like a, a hard challenge and it was a, a snowy pitch and it was like a reason for that, you know what I mean? When, when it happened at the time, I was like, oh God, like I've done something bad to my knee, you know what I mean? Because it was a hard challenge. Whereas it, obviously, because this one was just a freak injury, like it just happened out of nowhere, it was that was so much more difficult to take. Because straight away after the other one, I knew it was something serious. But with that one, I've come back. Uh, it was six months. It was supposed to be long when I, and I've never felt anything since with that knee. It's been it's been fine. So um, I'm sure this one will be the same process. And I'm going to be confident. I'm very confident it's going to go fine, and um, just believe that everything will go according to plan and be positive all the time. So it's, it's tough, it's tough originally when the boys are going out to play games, especially on Saturdays or worse, um, going to watch the boys and just wanting to play. And so Going to the gym every day is like, it's, it's boring, it is. It's, I enjoy going to the gym, but when the boys are training and having fun and that, you just want to be part of it. So, um, But at the same time, like I've just got to focus on this rehab and my own like rehab rather than anything to do with football right a second and everything in that part is going great and um, like you said I'm ahead of schedule so just keep 
keep doing what I'm doing, try not to rush it too much, but at the same time, like progress it as quickly as I possibly can. I'll come back as soon as I possibly can. It's, 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 it's no doubt about that. Um, I'm doing every single day, I'll be doing stuff for, for this in the next five, six, seven, eight months, however long it takes, nine months, whatever it will be. But I know I'm a type of person who will work incredibly hard to make sure I am back on that pitch as soon as I possibly can. Um, and I know that um, I don't need anyone to motivate me or anything like that. It comes from within. So I'll make sure. Um, hopefully it's, it's near the start of the season. Who knows? Um, I think the target is uh, like October, November time. That's a realistic time. It should be November, December. But I'm uh, I'm going to try and come back October, November without rushing it too much. Just just about playing, not really running. You know what I mean? Running just a close step closer to playing. It's just like we're, we're a month post-op now. So it's just like having a mentality. It's like... Doing everything right, every single day, just getting those habits. Days turn into weeks suddenly, and before you know it, I'm already a month post. So it's just keeping that, every single day, keeping that mentality to make sure I get the most out of that day. And before I know it, it's a week, and before I know it, it's a month, and before I know it, it'll be six months, and I'll be back on that pitch. So it's just having that mentality of just doing everything I can every single day for it. It's a long, long way. I mean, when you consider um, he's really just started squatting, um, you know, <laughs> Um, and deadlifting again and you know he, he finds well obviously it looks good on the video that the, the, his ability his balance ability is phenomenal but this, the leg is still really weak and there's a lot a lot of strength still to build um, but obviously we'll get there going forward the the good thing about this the long rehabilitation that he's got is that it'll be an opportunity to get him really strong um, in the gym and obviously get that get the, the, that fundamental leg strength in and you know get a really good foundation which will aid him when he goes back to playing because you would hope that he'll be stronger and um, fitter and faster um, is, is the hope. In a way like this season's been it's great for me because just bringing up my past like I was at Dunfermline before and I never got a chance there I wasn't through injury I had a one little injury at the start of the season but I just never got I wasn't making a the squads there and that. so uh, this season I've proven I can play in the championship I, I, and uh, I've set that I've done that now, so it's about progressing when I'm back now. So it's what else I can do if I can push on, be be uh, a key player if, if that's possible. And I want to progress, keep progressing. But obviously, this has stopped that progression, and uh, yeah, it was it was so tough to take. And uh, obviously, my family around me, my mum and dad, uh, my mum come up for a week and stayed with me straight after my operation to look after me. Uh, I can't really do too much after that. So. Just uh, obviously thanks to all those people and obviously the club have been absolutely brilliant with me, uh, taking care of everything um, regarding seeing the surgeons, picking a surgeon for me, the operation, seeing the surgeons afterwards, all the physio, renting game readies for me. So it's just been absolutely, it's been top class to be fair. So I can't speak highly enough of the club uh, in this situation and helping me. And uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, repaying them with my uh, performances next season when I'm back.